At first, back in 2010, Chris Willis would put his sandals on display with an address for people to find. Then things changed. And then a friend of mine said, hey, you could put them in my yard. I didn't want to put her address on there directly, so I thought, maybe I'll just leave some clues so people could, you know, figure out where they were. And then that became a huge part of it. Putting the clues out there, people were like, oh, now we have to find where they are. They're going to move around year to year. And now the hunt for the Santa clones continues. Willis says that this year, it took about three days to set up the 400 vintage Santas. And I like putting them out there. I enjoy... Um, seeing them all set up and I really get a huge kick out of other people's reactions, you know, whether it's nostalgia or bewilderment. And to find a space, Willis usually drives around the city to find the perfect location and wasn't always able to find a spot. But this year is different. A property management company approached him to host the Santa Clone Army. They gave me five or six options to look at. Um, this one I loved. I had never set up in this neighborhood before. Loved the windows and the mirror was like was the kicker. I mean, to be able to turn 400 Santas into 800 Santas, I'm like, let's let's do it. 